Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through arithmetic progression AP and geometric progression GP. In my previous video, I explained series and sequence. I was able to establish that sequences are succession or progression of terms such that each term is related to another by a well-defined rule. If I give you 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you know that each of the values is different from the previous one by a particular rule or by a constant number. To do well in arithmetic and geometric progression in YEC, JAMB, GCE, post TME, and any examination, you need two basic things. One, you need to know as many formulas as possible because you won't always have time to derive or it's not necessary to be deriving except you are writing YEC, which I will derive some things for the purpose of YEC. But for exams that are objective, you need to know formulas. The second thing you need to do well under AP and GP is wisdom. You need to use your score. You need to think and you need to be relaxed. With that, you'll be fine. So I'll be taking you through all these things as the spirit leads. AP, arithmetic progression, is also referred to as linear sequence or linear progression. Meanwhile, geometric progression, GP, is referred to as exponential sequence or exponential progression in the sense that it has powers which you will see now given these two uh, sequence you will see that for a this is one three five and seven and for b this is one two four and eight remember we said that it, a sequence differ or they are similar to each other by a defined rule here we have one here we have three here we have five we have seven now what will be the next let this be the first let's be the second let this be the third and let's be the fourth so if you are asked to look for the fifth term how do you get that to know how to get this fifth term or to know what the fifth term would be we simply need to know the differences between them or the pattern the numbers follow this is one and this is three this is five this is seven it is very easy to know that if we say three minus one it is two right if we say five minus three five minus three is equals two if we say seven minus five is equals two so this means the difference between them is two we call that common difference is equals two is equals d so d is the common difference and the first term is one so we call first term to be a first term is a now let's go to that sequence the first is two one two four and eight if i say two minus one is equals one four minus two is equals two eight minus four is equals four you notice it didn't follow this pattern where uh, second term minus first term is the same thing as third term minus second term and the same thing as fourth term minus third term it's not following now how does this one work? So let's try something. Recall this is the first, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. So first term is one. Second term, if we say two divided by one, this is equals one. Let's look at the third term. Third term is four. So four divided by second term, two, is equals 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Pardon? 8 
divided by 4 is equals 2. You see? So this one differs by division. If you divide the second term by the first term, is 2. You divide the third term by the second term, you get 2. This means they are common. In this case, it's not difference because it's ratio. When you divide, you have ratio. So here, we now have common ratio. Common ratio is equals 2 and is equals R. Now, let's predict the next term. The next term here will simply be adding 2 to 7, which will be 9. Because the difference is 2. And what about the next term here? How do we get it? First term is equals A, right? Which is 1. Second term, which is T2, will simply be first term times R. Third term will simply be second term times R. Look at it. The first term is A, which is 1. Second term is first term, which is 1, times R times 2 is 2. Third term is second term, which is 2, times R, which is 2. 2 times 2, 4. So this is how it is. Now, taking a look at this, the fourth term will simply be third term times R. Now look at this. First term is A. Second term is first term times, uh, times R. This will simply be first term is A times R. The third term is second term times R. This is simply second term is A R times R. This will give you A R square. Fourth term is third term times R. And third term is A R square times R will simply be A R raised to the power of 4. Now look at the pattern. Third term, R raised to the power of 2. Fourth term, R raised to the power of 3. You see? Second term, R raised to the power of 1. First term, we can say R raised to the power of 0, which will give you 1. So this gives us the formula we need. To get that, to look for any term in GP, let's say nth term, this will simply be A R O N minus 1. Which means, if here is 20, here will be 19. If here is 25, here will be 24. So this is the formula for nth term of, an, of a GP. Similarly, for arithmetic progression, uh, first term is A, Second term is simply a first term plus common difference. In this case, first term is 1 and the common difference is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So uh, first term plus difference. And first term is simply A. So this is A plus D. Third term will simply be second term plus the common difference. And second term is A plus D. So this will give you A plus D plus d, which is equals a plus 2d. Fourth term will simply be third term plus the common difference. And the third term is a plus 2d plus this d plus d will simply give you a plus 3d. Now look at the pattern. Fourth term, a plus 3d. Uh, third term, a plus 2d. So with this, we can arrive at the general formula that n term is equals a plus n minus 1d in the sense that if here is 20 everything here becomes 19d so this is the n term for ap and this is the n term for gp so in this case if you are looking for 1 2 3 4 now with wisdom the fifth term is simply 9 so let's assume we don't know so look for the fifth term here t5 will simply be a plus n that is 5 minus 1d this is simply and a is 1 which is the first term 1 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 and what is the common difference is 2 so 4 times 2 this will simply give you 1 plus 8 which is equals 9 you see we are correct with this formula i can say look for the 20th term you will just solve and get the 20th value i can say look for the 100th term you will solve and you get the value that will be the 100 without manually adding. So this is the aim of the end, uh, end term and 
for this we know that from here the fifth term should be 16. now let's use the formula to confirm tn is simply first term is one and common ratio is two so one times two raised to the power of we're looking for the fifth term five minus one this is simply one times two raised to the power of four this is equals uh, 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. So we have 1 times 16, which is equal to 16. So I can say find the 100th term, the 20th term, using formula. So for any GP, so long you've confirmed that the next term is gotten by dividing this by this, dividing this by this, it is a geometric progression. So you can look for 20th term, 30th term, 40th term using this formula. And this is this. And there's something else. Given this, I can say look for the sum of the first three terms, which means look for the sum of this so the sum of the first three terms of this sequence is simply 1 plus 4 1 plus 3 4 plus 5 9 so there's a formula to look for the sum of uh, terms of AP and GP now let me simply draft out the formulas you need for AP and GP then I'll solve these questions at the end you'll be able to solve any question you come across under AP and GP now look at these formulas the formula is nth term of an AP, which we've already established. So if you are saying the fifth term, sixth term of an AP, you need all this formula. You need the first term and the common difference. This is the formula for sum of nth term. If you are saying the sum of the first five terms or the sum of the first 20 terms, that means if you, are, if you have this, let's say one, two, three, four. The fourth term is four, right? We can look for the fifth term. But by the time I say look for the sum of the first four terms, it means having the fourth term, you are not adding everything together. So this we use the, this formula for that. And this formula is for if you are giving the last term, first and last term, you use this formula to look for the sum of nth term, which is number of term. Now for geometric progression, this is the formula for nth term, which you already established. And this is the formula for sum of nth term. So if you are saying look for the sum of the first 20 terms of a GP, you use this formula. Now this is for sum to infinity, for infinite series, series that continues. So if you are looking for their sum, this is the formula you use. While this is a sum of nth term of GP when the common ratio is lesser than 1. If R is lesser than 1, uh, uh, this to the power of 0, everything will be lesser than 1. So we use this. The first question says, find the 10th term of the AP. 2, 5, and 8. Remember, the nth term of an AP is simply A plus N minus 1, D. So the 10th term is simply when N is equals 10. This will simply be A. The first term is 2. So 2 plus N, which is 10, term minus 1, D. So D is the common difference. Common difference is gotten by Subtracting the second from the first term or the third term from the second term. If I say 5 minus 2, it will give us 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. So the common difference is 3. So here is simply 3. So 10th term is equals 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. So 9 times 3. 10th term is simply 2 plus. The second question says. The second term and fourth term of an AP is 8 and 20th, respectively. So remember that n term is equals a plus n minus 1d. So the second term, that means when n is equals 2, the uh, sum is 8. So at two, uh, 8, the answer is 8 when a plus second term 2 minus 1d n term is 8 a is a n is 2 minus 1 and the difference we don't know the difference yet and look at it it says and the fourth term of an ap is 20. so second term is 8 fourth term is 20 and fourth term is 20 which is equals a plus for fourth term here is 4 minus 1d so we simply substituted the values here. So they said 20, 4, 24, and 2, 8. So we've gotten this. What are we looking for? 
find the common difference and the nth term. Let's simplify this equation. A8 becomes A plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times D is D. Here it becomes 20 is equals A plus 3D. So this becomes equation 1 and this becomes equation 2. So in this case, we are now solving simultaneous equation. Solving the simultaneous equation, if you don't know how to solve simultaneous equation, you can check out my simultaneous equation video. I'll share a link to that. So solving the simultaneous equation, a is equals 2 and d is equals 6. So you can actually prove that it's correct because if a is 2 and d is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 is equals 8. So we've gotten that this is the first term and this is the common difference. The third question says, <coughs> the third question says, find the sum of the first 20 terms of AP, whose first term A is equals 7 and last term is equals 117. So we are asked to look for the sum of the first 20th term. And like I told you, when you are given the last term, the formula for the sum of nth term is equals n over 2. A plus L. So the 20th term is equals n is 20 over 2. First term is 7 and the last term is 117. 20th term will simply be 10. Uh, this will give you 7 plus 7 is 14. Put down 4 here, 2. So this will give you 124. The 20th term will simply be 10 times 124 is simply. One, two, four, zero. So this is the sum of the twentieth term. Record not the twentieth term, but sum of the first twenty term. So look at the fourth question. It says the second term of an exponential sequence is thirty-five. Second term, second is thirty-five, and the fourth term is eight seven five. So four is equals eight seven five. Find the first term and common ratio you see this is obviously gp when common ratio comes to mind now for gp the nth term is simply a arrow n minus one and we are told that the second term when t is equals to a arrow two minus one is equals 35 and the fourth term when t is equals four a arrow n 4 minus 1 is equals 875. Simplifying this, a arrow is equals 35 because 2 minus 1 is 1. The arrow raised to the power of 1 is arrow. Then, fourth term, a arrow 4 minus 1 is simply 3 is equals 8. 7, 5. So given this, we can solve it this way. A is equals 35 over R. Making A subject formula in equation 1. Putting that here, A becomes 35 over R times R to the power 3 is equals 8, 7, 5. R can cancel one R here. Giving us 35 Arrow square is equals 875. Arrow square is equals 875 over 35, which is equals 25. Arrow is equals square root of 25. This is equals 5. So the common ratio is 5. Recall that A is equals 35 over arrow. Therefore, A is equals 35 over 5 because arrow is equals 5. This will give you 7. So that's how you get the fourth and the first term and the common ratio. So that's that for today. Like I said, I'll be releasing videos to solve more questions on YEC, NECO, POSITME, and GCE under arithmetic and geometric progression. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.